Greetings and welcome. This is Sherry from Spiritual Magic Journey, and this is your monthly tarot card reading prediction for our lovely Aquarius Sun Sign Aquarius for the month of March 2023. So, for this month, guys, I am using the Sacred Traveler just to get an overview theme card from. To see how your month is going to go, Aquarius. And I'm using the Angel Tarot by Radley Valentine. A couple of cards from there, and we'll round it off with postcards from Spirit to get a beautiful message from there. And I just want to say, please like, share, and subscribe. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. Um, give it a thumbs up. Um, this is the only way my videos will get seen, will get more views, is if you it has a lot of likes to it. So I really do appreciate that. For those that have stuck with me, um, I thank you um, and I'm grateful. So we're going to just dive right on in. I hope you're having a beautiful, wonderful, and blessed month. And happy St. Patrick's Day. Ring our bell. Asking Spirit, my team, to step in and assist me with this reading. So we'll see what is going on with our beautiful Aquarius for the month of March. I'll give you a queen card for beautiful Aquarius. Every time I say Aquarius, I want to sing the song. It's the end of Aquarius. Mm. Okay. Joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. Open your heart to joy. So what that's telling me, this little fairy person, a being, elemental being, is asking you to have more fun in your life too. Open your heart to joy. Let go of the fear, worry, and doubt that you have. Maybe what is happening in the world, or, you know, what we're seeing, or about to see, but to just open it to some more joy. So go do something fun this month, especially if you get really feeling like your energy is really getting... Um, bogged down to what's going on um, this month. Really find something fun to do. And stay out of that um, weird um, fear and worry. And, sh and that can stress you out. It really can, and it's only going to create more fear and worry. So when you feel yourself getting into that situation or going down that route, um, please go do something different. Create a sacred practice. Go play a game. Listen to some music. Do something that raises your vibration up. Ooh, we got the sun with Archangel Uriel. The three of fire. The Five of Fire, and we got the Dreamer, which is the Fool, in the Tarot. So you're about to start this new journey um, here in your in your life, and it's like you've had this again, this worry and doubt. This um, Five of Fire, you've had conflict, you've had setbacks. Um, you've had things that, you know, didn't work out. You've had the drama. They're saying, stay out of the drama. <laughs> Do not get caught up in that drama. But you have this beautiful card of the sun, which is a beautiful, wonderful, and happy outcome. 
who Archangel Uriel was representing and then you have the dreamer which Archangel Metatron is representing and this is like a leap of faith and telling you to continue to follow your dreams you're going down this path and this journey which we all are and there's um and you're going you're just going to have to trust in the universe. You're going to have to trust in yourself. You're going to have to trust in your team has your back. And everything is in divine will and timing here. Because I see the setbacks here. But those are going to be removed. They're saying stay out of that worry and fear. So like I was saying before. To open your heart to joy. Um really when you see yourself going down that road of um wanting to create the fear and worrisome and and your mind just can create this demise in your head <laughs> a scenario um change it up use affirmations use mantras have a sacred practice, but I see things really working out for you. You've got the sun, so this is all about success and joy and happiness here. I think you've had some setbacks and troubles here and, and um, some conflict, maybe some conflict, maybe a little annoyances, annoyances that um, come up and hinder you, but I feel like you're, you're like, nope, not going to do it, not getting in that, I'm going to leave that there and I'm just not going to go that route you also got this three of fire and it's all about um things looking really really good so you're going to have to have some um patience with yourself you're going to have to have the trust it's like you put things out with the three of fire this is like the three of wands and you're waiting you're waiting but you're really going to have to take a leap of faith to move forward. You can't wait till the sun shines right or wait till you get enough money to create this or wait till next year you think you'll be in a better place. No, Spirit is saying if you want to do something now, now is the time to do it. We don't wait. We go for it. We take small steps. We take that leap of faith because you're starting this new journey. And now is the time to do it. You're going to have a positive outcome. You're going to have success. And I feel like this is with some type of business. It could be a loan. It could be wanting to buy a home or a car. Something's coming into play here this um, this month for you. Um, could it be some extra money that's coming in for you? That you're going to be able to put it to um, very good use? So there's some abundance here for you. Um, the energy is there for you, but they're telling, um, they're reminding me to tell you to stay out of the drama. Don't get caught up in what you're seeing um, or picking a side. Stay out of that. Stay neutral. Stay within yourself. Stay authentic. Stay grounded this month and all will be fine with you. Okay, let's get a beautiful postcard from Spirit Aquarius C. This messages or message wants to come to me. says dearest you since you're on earth you understand how buildings are built yes a solid foundation yet flexibility too in case of earthquakes truth be told you can't offer something sustainable unless it is built from a solid base whether it be an ideal that takes form one step at a time or an actual house that needs sturdy a sturdy foundation dug poured and built we want to remind you of this because you need a little encouragement to see this is true in your life at this time. Celebrate the fact that right now you can repair the cracks in the foundation of your life effortlessly, as well as do a general site checkup to ensure your hard work is well supported. Do this and know you are building your life on a perfect and sound foundation. 
that will allow you to welcome many miracles waiting to visit. We're so happy for you. So intrigued by what you're building. So keep it up. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you with that. Hope this helps you in your journey through life. Blessings, my friends, and namaste.